Hello and welcome to another part of the project Replicator Mark II. And this time um, this episode will also unfortunately be the last one because in this one we will actually take a look at the primary wings, secondary wings and both sides. We will print them out and assemble everything together and that would mean that the replicator is finished. We will take a closer look at each part. Okay, so those are the primary wings consisting of one piece, mirror piece, second piece that is on both sides and the actual wing assembly and the wing assembly that consists of first piece second piece and the connecting piece And the uh, second primary wing is exactly the same, only uh, basically rotated 180 degrees, so that they are basically mirrored. Okay, so those are primary wings. Now secondary wings. So what do we have here? Once again this first piece, the wing itself, joint that goes between the first piece and the last one, and this is the <coughs> last piece which is simply mirror of the first piece, and the second secondary wing which is exactly the same as the first only uh, rotated 180 degrees or put upside down. Okay, and then both sides. Those are uh, single pieces. So we have one one side and second side. And it will be basically slided and clicked together on the replicator. And that's it. That's everything we will do. And once we do print and assemble everything, then as I said, our drone will be completed. So let's go straight into it. So here we are, here is the replicator and all the parts for the primary wings. So we will start with the primary wings. So I will start with uh, inserting the pins into every hole that is needed. Okay, so I start with wing. So I have this piece, this piece. Okay, it's inserted. Now, second part. Okay, one wing is done. Now the second wing. Okay, and before I push it down, I will insert the second part.
Okay. Both are done now. So we put the wings aside and now the replicator itself. And now I have to insert the wing itself. Okay, the wing is attached. So now we can move to the second one. Okay, now we'll attach the wing itself. Okay. And it's done. And the replicator has its primary wings. Whee! Well, the, this one holds much better than this one, but it doesn't matter really. Considering uh, they should always be in this position, I don't really care. Okay, so uh, this is it for the primary, uh, primary wings. Okay, and here we have the parts for the secondary wings. So, I will start by putting the pins inside their respective holes. Now I will take the wing and I will attach it. Okay, one is done, and second as well. Now I will add this this joint piece and attach it here. Okay. And now we can actually attach them to the replicator itself, but I will. Okay, and the secondary wings are attached. Yep. 
Okay, and the last thing that remains are those sides. And they will be only uh, basically pushed in the place. So we will start with this one. And it goes here. And here we have this opening. And this opening goes inside this little piece. So we will simply slide it in the place. Okay, and that's it. That's one. And the second one goes here. Okay. Well, and that's it. The replicator is done. So it took quite some time, but he is already finished. So this is the replicator drone model Mark One. Oh, uh, sorry, Mark Two. And in the immortal words of one great man, let me show you its features. So, all four legs are fully posable. Uh, sure, the joints are kind of loose. Um, they were stiffer, but uh, with time they got loose. So it cannot uh, sustain its own weight, but I personally don't think it's a problem, because it's meant to be a stationary model. Um, so uh, you can pose the legs into whatever pose you want. Uh, another thing that uh, the primary wings are uh, partially posable, just like the secondary wings. And well, for possibility, well, that's that's kind of it. Uh, you see. Uh, it's a replicator, or what else would you want? Anyway, it's one big assembly, one big uh, kit. It's, uh, as I said, the main goal was to design it in such a way that there is no glue. And in that regard, I succeeded fully, because there is not a single drop of glue. Um, the only thing that uh, this model requires uh, yet is some kind of uh, better paint. I already mentioned that I am not really satisfied with the new paint that I bought. And I basically did not yet uh, buy a new one. So I will paint spray it once I buy better silver. And that's basically it. Um... I also prepared a manual for uh, assemb well, assembly instruction, uh, instructions, basically. So hopefully if you decide to print it uh, out for you, uh, you won't have such a hard time to actually put it all together. Yeah. I really... Yeah, I say it all the time, but I am. I am really happy how it turned out. Um, the approach with the paints really paint out. It's much better than the Mark I uh, because there the joints uh, always uh, well fell off and that wasn't really that great. If I put the legs like here I can take it without a single issue. And it holds. So that's that's something, I guess. Yeah, well, actually, sending this thing out that would be a problem because the first one I uh, sent to Germany to my friend Chris, 
Uh, this one I don't intend to give away. I uh, want to keep him. Yeah, so that's it. That's my replicator drone Mark II. I hope you really liked it. And that will be all for now. Okay, bye bye.